Hello, I am Mrs. Palmer, for any of you that haven't met me yet. Um, it's been so fun this year getting to know each of your kids. And we're now in soft closure. And so I just wanted to give some help to you um, in case you're having questions about what your students should be working on for my class. So I want to go ahead and just take a minute and show you what your kids will see when they log on to their Canvas account for my class. And your students should know exactly what they're doing for math every day. We actually talked about this on both Monday and Tuesday, and it's the same thing that we've been doing all year. I kind of already set my class up in a way this year so that if we were to go into soft closure that the kids would already be trained and know what to do. And then also for those kids that have been quarantined or, you know, I was actually quarantined for the last few weeks. And so um, anyways, some of you may be familiar with this already, but for those of you who aren't, when your kids log on to their Canvas, um, what they're going to see is at the top of of the screen there's going to be a module and it's called surface area and volume this is the module that they're going to be working on for the next couple of weeks um, and then when we come back from Christmas break they will be having a test on these two topics surface area and volume so when they click on for example December 10th which is the first day they should be starting their online school when they click on that link it is going to bring them to a list of directions. Okay, so number one says complete the surface area Alex assignment questions one through nine. Number two, please watch the video above for some information about our soft closure and some help. So for December 10th, this is what the students should be doing. Um, I have attached a video for them that will help them with their Alex assignment and then also um, I've given them some instructions about exactly what I want them to do on that Alex assignment. Now, I know that even though the students have a video, they may still be having some questions on how to do some of the problems in Alex. The nice thing about Alex is Alex always provides an opportunity for kids to get help with the problem. So they can click on, let me go ahead and show you that really quick. Okay, so when they log on to their Alex assignment, this is the place where they are going to be finding what they need to do for Alex. Um, this is in their Alex account, and they should all have their Alex passwords. If not, you can email me and I would be happy to send that to you. Um, so on December 10th, they were supposed to do the assignment called Surface Area. So let me go ahead and show that to you. Um, this is what the assignment looks like. This is the first question, and then if they're needing help or an ex explanation about it. Um, they can click on this. This will give them an example to follow. Okay. And this may be a little bit different than what I showed them, or it may be the same, but they can always check on that example. Um, they can always check on this um, one with the little eyeglasses. And that is going to give them an explanation. Okay, so those are two places that they can look for extra help after they've watched the video. Now, if both of those options aren't working, um, they can always email me. And when they email me, I want them to tell me which question they're having a hard time with. And they can even send me a picture of it. And then I can make them a video separate for that question. Or I can set up a time for us to meet and go over the assignment together as well. So I just want you to know that even though we're in soft closure, I am still here to help. Um, I want the students to be successful. If you can help me at home with making sure that they complete the assignment that I've given them each day so that they don't come back to school behind in their learning, that would be amazing. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, just email me. Hopefully this was helpful uh, and I hope that everything goes smoothly with this soft closure.